Good evening. A mother is mourning the death of her son who had his throat cut in a brawl in Melbourne's west. The horrific attack also left the victim's brother seriously hurt in hospital. Both men were run over by a car before being set upon. A mother mourning a murdered son as another fights for life. My heart seems to be ripped out of my chest. Paul Duncanson and his older brother Sean were set upon in Braybrook around 9.30 last night. It's believed they were run over by a group in a silver hatchback who then jumped out and attacked the pair. They had an argument with these um, black guys. I think there was about six of them, so I was told. Dark guys went to the car and got a, an iron bar out and the machete and they apparently hit Sean over the head with the iron bar and he had three gashes in the top of his head and Paul was, um, had his throat cut. As police gathered clues this morning, some evidence was hard to miss. Blood splattered on the road, driveways and on one neighbour's front door. Sean staggered there looking for help, but the residents called triple zero and were told not to open the door because they might be at risk. I just see the car driving down the road um, and a couple of guys jumped out of the car and started attacking the man. Just saying, help, help, can someone come out? I could just see about four or five men just laying into this guy and saying, where is he, where is he? I just heard him say that, you know, help me, help me. That's all I could hear. The brothers were taken to hospital with life-threatening injuries, but Paul died. My sons wouldn't have carried any weapons or anything with them and they wouldn't have started a fight with those guys anyway. One witness who saw it happen told Seven News he suspected it was a fight over drugs. He watched as the offenders sped away down Ballarat Road. It's believed that car was dumped 40 minutes later. I was told by one of the police that there was a bit of blood in there. CCTV shows it being dumped in a St Albans street and its occupants leaving in another car. Forensic police searched it overnight. Mum Cheryl admits her sons have made enemies. It might have been a, a drug, drug feud. They bought drugs, they didn't sell any drugs. But she wants her son's killer caught. I hope they rot in hell. Paul Dowsley is at police headquarters tonight. Paul, what do we know about the men responsible for this attack? Like they are believed to be of African appearance and we understand police know the identities of some of the suspects but they are yet to make any arrests. The surviving brother Sean, he's in a serious condition in the Alfred Hospital. Today he underwent surgery to repair his smashed skull and tonight he's in an induced coma, Blake. Paul, thank you. Good evening. A 40-year-old man has died and another suffered critical injuries after they were deliberately mown down in Braybrook. Witnesses have told Neary Tyre the victims were violently attacked by a gang of African men armed with weapons. A Braybrook Street turned crime scene. Blood splattered on a footpath after a suspected machete attack. It's, it's scary. It's just very scary. It was just after 9.30 last night when an argument broke out between a group of men on Carsley Crescent. It all sounded like they were angry. There was just a lot of words going on. A car was then used to mow down two of the victims. It sounded like a car had rammed something hard. And then you could hear the the car accelerate and then break suddenly, yelling, yelling, accelerate, break suddenly. Before they were brutally bashed with weapons. I could just see about four or five men just laying into this guy and saying, where is he, where is he? One of the victims staggered across the road begging for help. I heard the garage door bang and he was uh, yelling out for help. Uh, help, please, someone, help. The homeowners with a young child called triple zero, too petrified to open the door. Just saying, help, help, can someone come out? I was on the phone with him and I said, hey, this is a good dude. Yeah, for help, should come out, she uh, stay safe. Both men from Braybrook, one aged 44 and the other 40, were both rushed to hospital with life-threatening injuries. The younger man later died. Detectives are still looking at why the men were in this street in the first place and whether they knew their attackers. The alleged offenders, described as African in appearance, fled in a silver vehicle. Detectives are investigating whether the same vehicle was dumped on Ivanhoe Street in St Albans. Little Hyundai, no window. A couple of broken windows, uh, no number plates. Definitely was sus. Car had a few dints on it. The men were then seen piling into a getaway car. OK, let's go live now to Neary Tai, who's at police headquarters. Neary, are police any closer to catching those responsible? 
Good evening, Alicia. Well, detectives have spent most of this afternoon door knocking homes in the Braybrook area looking for CCTV footage. It's understood investigators have a rough idea of who they are looking for, but they are still appealing for witnesses to come forward. The surviving man is recovering at the Alfred Hospital as we go to air tonight. He underwent surgery earlier today and is now in a serious but stable condition. Alicia? Okay, Neary, thank you.